Like Hi, I'm Abby, and I'm Anna, and we're reading the book Philippa, Philip, Philippa F Fisher's Fairy Gods. And today we are going to do a full character analysis for Philippa and Daisy. So we, we, we made a chart and a notebook, just for and we both have pencils so we can write down our like own things about each of them. So I think we're doing character traits and that it's about both of them. So we can like what kind of traits Daisy have, what does Philippa have, and it could be like different parts of the book. Right now, it's you know. So I'm gonna do Philippa's right now, and then. Um, Abby can do Daisy. So, um, how about since I'm not doing it, we like switch off everybody. Okay. So, um, I think that Philippa is... Philippa sometimes happy, sometimes sad. So I think she's emotional. And Daisy, she is like um, a little bit mean. She can be a little bit rude as well. So disrespectful. So Philippa can also be sometimes this a little like she's got a lot of paranoia. I think it is. What? Like she always worries about stuff. Or, or also she worries about her. Oh yeah, she worries about like her parents are acting. And, like, so. Leo didn't have a key card for the Karen? It was a bit of a trigger. worried about everything. <laughs> Maybe like stress. And I have one for Daisy. Um, like she's kind of like sneaky. Like she didn't tell Philippa everything until later. Like she's like doesn't like so sneak like weird why she's here so I'm gonna put down Without sneaky the door to the central park, you open and, Leo and we'll show you our chart after we're all done but um and I think Philippa can also be like uh, not bad, not Leo. a little not bit bad, like never really seen her be mean in the story. I think she's a little bit she's definitely respectful. Because Daisy and Philippa aren't real, they're like a little bit different at times. You know, like sometimes they might be nice to each other, sometimes they might be mad, mean to each other, sometimes one's nice and one's mean. Like they both have different, like they're both different. Yeah. Um, and do you want to write one down now, Abby? Daisy, well, um, hmm, what is Daisy like? What's a character for Daisy? She's a little bit like a brat. Isn't it? Oh. Like, it's because she's, like, so, like, she's physical. Because she pushed down Philippa. What do you mean? Like, she's, like, she's physical in a bad way because she pushed Philippa. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, she, um, she's, I'll go with physical. So, like, maybe you can do in parentheses, like, in yeah. a bad way or something. Um, Philippa is very... She's very, um, easygoing, is what I'm going to say. Because... Oh, can I put another one up? For what? Like, cause what's a word where you could go like she sucks everything up because she had to suck up Tony Daisy. Um, this girl's emotional. I think she she's outgoing as well. And then for Daisy, I think that she's um like um. She even like I don't know if there's really like, like but she's like nice at some points and nice at others. Yeah. Because um she's nice at some points as in like 
um, she will let, even though Philippa might not be the nicest to Daisy, she's, Daisy's still going to give Philippa everything that everyone else gets. Is that really called nice then? Well, actually, I think Philippa, I mean, Daisy is nice, because she's trying to get her mission done and do everything she can. But she also can sometimes be like, like sometimes, you know, if she's like so into her mission that she's like, that's the reason why she's here. That but she's not really a complainer, kind of like yeah, like she doesn't even if Phil, like she want. I don't think she wants to. I mean, I don't know. If maybe Phil and her might be friends, but Daisy doesn't want to say because like it's just my mission or my assignment. I'm not gonna be friends with you and talk to you. You know, so like complainer, yeah. Complainer. An arrow was hidden somewhere in the central part, and it would be... So, do you want to... Oh, you have two them. So, we're just going to do two more for each person. Hmm. Um, and then we're going to give our conclusion. And do you want to switch off or no? What do you mean? Like, switch off and... No, it's not. I think Philippa is very brave. Because well, Daisy's brave Charlotte. Too. Yeah, so they're both brave. So they're um So then my last and final one. And I did brave for Daisy too, because Daisy's brave on taking on this assignment even if she's scared about it coming or something. And I think now Philip is very lonely because she's got no friends. Um, because Charlotte was a friend. Is proper. Yeah, you can do proper. I believe you said Because she's all like, like sitting. Oh, I have to do this. I have to have my my back's all straight. It's like she want, she wants to be perfect. And maybe French is just like a you know maybe like. A but you never name. know. Maybe like um Daisy is like doesn't have a lot of friends where she is from. So she's not happy. She's from a flower. Yeah, <laughs> maybe there wasn't all the days, all the daisies in the patch weren't friends and weren't nice to her. Like you yeah. never know. They could be like. I mean, who knows? Like, maybe Daisy. I don't like you. Maybe yeah. Daisy was a, was happy that now she you know had a home. Like she was a now a real person. She has a new place. But also, um, because who knows? Maybe she was upset that people used to pick the other flowers and never picked her. And now she was picked, and now she's great, you know. So, um, we, this is our list. And the different hand I just means that someone else did it differently. And, um, now we're going to make our conclusions for it. And we shared all of our, um, traits about each of them. And there's probably more, but we're not, we're, like, not even a little bit, a little bit under halfway. So, I'm going to probably do, like, two words that describe Philippa. What's the conclusion for? Like, what what word is she mostly like? Like, what is she mostly oh. like out of all? Look there, it's a boy and his mom said, remind the only two people in this park, right? It's Merkins or Cynthia. I'm going to go with one of the first ones that we've done. Like... The Which disrespectful is. one was like that she's not nice and, like and like she pushed Philippa and she's. I'm gonna go with disrespectful. I know. What I mean. And. Um, is sneaky the same as disrespectful? Mm -mm. You did brave and emotional. Yeah, so and Philippa is mostly brave and emotional in my opinions because she's brave. Her friend moved. She has like no friends now. She has to tour a girl she doesn't like, and she finds out that she's whore. 
god sister, the technically godmother, and she's not, she's like kind of chill about it. And then emotional is because she's also expressing all these emotionals and she's happy and sad and, and mad. It's like one thing after the next in this, in this book and it's like, what's going on? And then I did it disrespectful because... Daisy hasn't been the nicest to Philippa. She, you know, she pushed her. She started to annoy, like, ignore her, maybe. And then she's brave because she's taking on this new role that she's probably scared about. She's like, how will this be? Will people like me? Will my assignment be easy? Will my assignment like me? Like, she's probably thinking all of these different things, but she still went to do it, even if it, she didn't get anything into it. So I'm writing they both are, what do you think? Great. So they both are. Great. They both are definitely brave. Those are the same character traits that they show. So I'm Anna. And I'm Amy. And we hope you enjoy our discussion on Philippa Fisher's Fairy God Sister. Bye!